Welcome back, NFL fans. Welcome back to another New York Giants pregame video with the one and only Big Blue Poppy, a.k.a. Ron Effect. Yours truly. All right, I'm going to keep it honest with you as always. This week does not look good for the Giants as they take on the Seattle Seahawks on the road. They're going up against a quarterback that I think I hate the most in the league. One of my all-time most hated, Geno Smith. Now, for those who don't know, especially Seahawks fans, when Geno Smith was playing for the New York Giants, the head coach was Ben McAdoo. The Giants were a dumpster fire at the time as well. And as you know, a coach can be on the hot seat. Things aren't going right. You know, the coach is probably at the top of the list to blame. Ben McAdoo thought it'd be a good idea to save his own ass by benching Eli Manning. He thought, oh, to solve this problem the Giants losing, let's bench Eli Manning. Despite, instead of looking inward, taking freaking responsibility because all the players hated him. Landon Collins, Damon Snack Harrison, they confirmed this years after. Years after, you know, they weren't as active or Ben McAdoo long gone. Because, you know, it's safe to talk about something after the fact. It's not that good to be that honest about what's going on while you're on a team while it's happening, you know. So... Ben, Mac ben McAdoo terrorizing the Giants and shit, and he thought it was a good idea to bench Eli Manning. Mind you, who had a consecutive game streak. It's like an accolade, you know what I'm saying? You're like, they keep track of like, you know, quarterback stats. Oh, he started X amount of games without a, consecutively. Oh, he went this amount of games throwing a touchdown. Went this amount of games without throwing an interception. One of them is the longevity. You know, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers before the injury. It's like, oh, you've played this many consecutive games in a row. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you didn't get hurt, anything like that. So Eli Manning had like a long streak going. And Ben McAdoo thought he fucked that shit up to play Geno Smith, thinking that would be the answer to the Giants turning it around. One, mind you, the Giants got effed up by the Raiders that week. And two, fast forward when the Giants finally gave Ben McAdoo's goofy ass the boot, this hoe fucking, this boot licking hoe, Geno Smith, thought it was smart to tweet out, y'all did my boy McAdoo wrong. Dog. That video might still be on this channel. I gotta find it. This is, this is back then. I don't know how many teams Geno Smith's been through a lot. He's played for the Giants, plays for the Jets. Now he's on the Seahawks. I think he had another team. It might have been the Raiders. I'm not sure. He had like, he has at least four teams. And yeah, bro, when I saw that shit, I was out to this day, bro. To this day. It's bootlicking teacher's pet head ass. Everybody on the team hates this motherfucker. The fans hate this motherfucker. But you want to call him your boy because one of his decisions to save your own ass played in your favor. Y'all not boys, motherfucker. You just happen to be quarterback two. If he was quarterback three, would he still have been your boy if, if another quarterback came in to take over as starter? You were happen to be quarterback too. You got your chance and you still lost us the fucking game. Well, I ain't going to, well, it's a, a group effort, so I'm not going to just say you, but for you to say, oh, that's your boy, like, bro, that's, that, I ain't never seen no shit like that, bro. That shit, to this day, that shit pissed me. Why the fuck do you say that shit? Dumbass, bro. Just looking goofy as fuck. Y'all did my boy. And then this motherfucker been mad to do this, this type of shit I hate. When time started passing and Mahomes started making his come up, this bitch talking about, oh, yeah, I tried to tell the Giants to draft Mahomes. Shut the fuck up. No, you did. Where's McAdoo now? Who's he? Who, what, what team is he head coaching right now? Is he an assistant team? But nobody knows. I hate it when, when it comes to the Giants, when a player or coach or anybody has something going on with the Giants, when they move on, it's like, oh, yeah, I tried to do this for the Giants. They weren't listening. They were... Bro, it's like, bro, it's, it seems like when players and coaches go through the Giants, it's like they want to talk so much shit about the Giants as if they're the problem. No, it's you, motherfucker. It's you. It's you. You couldn't, you couldn't take it up, bro. You're on a team now that's like you're not even doing the heavy lifting. You got a bunch of stars who doing the heavy lifting. It's like, oh, you get coach of the year. It's like you can get, how about this? It, this is by chance. Say if the, the Chiefs get a new coach, right? Say if the Chiefs get a new coach and then they all of a sudden go on a streak. You're going to get coach of the year. But it's not you. It's fucking Mahomes and Kelsey and them doing the work, if that makes sense. The Giants, freaking Dable got coach of the year with the Giants, and I understand why. The Giants been a dumpster, dumpster fire for the longest, and so for him to make the playoffs with him, it's like, yo, this guy, you brought, you helped bring the Giants to the playoffs? Daniel Jones when he's not, you know, what the hell? All right, yeah, he definitely doing something for them to squeeze out wins. And then, yeah, we haven't seen that magic in a while, so just like a, a once-in-a-blue-moon thing. Every dog has his day. 
But for this week, you know, I was saying for Deontay Banks, I think he's going to get abused by DK Metcalf. Uh, what else am I expecting? Geno Smith's going to play his little heart out. He had damn near 400 yards. He had 395 last week. I think he might go for 250 at least. Um, not trying to disrespect the Giants' defense. Cause they only had one sack versus the Cowboys, so I guess I don't know how good the Seahawks' offensive line is, but they're going to have to play flawlessly. Like I said in my last video, for the Giants to get wins, y'all going to have to play flawlessly. I feel like y'all can intercept Geno Smith two times and they'll still figure out a way to lose the fucking game. So the offense got to click on all cylinders. We got to hope Deontay Banks don't get burnt and the rest of the secondary. We got to make sure there's good tackling because the Seahawks running back had three touchdowns last week. So if he had three touchdowns last week versus whoever the hell they were playing... I know he's going to go crazy on the Giants because it's like, unless you know, Dexter Lawrence, Dexter Lawrence has to play. He's playing fair, but he has to play, do more. You know, it's like no freaking help, bro. Like, I guess these players pick and choose when they're going to play. I wish I wish every player had the same grit and consistency as Dexter Lawrence. Like, Kayvon, you can't just show up when you want to. You saw, I, see, I told you, talking all that shit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to break Michael Strahan's record. Like, bro, it sound good. It sound good, bro. Like, come on, bro. You can't, you can't, you can't bullshit a bullshitter, bro. Not saying I'm necessarily a bullshitter, but I can smell some bullshit from a mile away. You gonna break Michael Strahan's record? Come on, bro. As a Giants fan, like I'm what can what did Cat Williams say? Like, don't you know we can see you? Like, it sound good. It sound good. So maybe you can say that. Maybe it sound good to people who don't watch Giants games. But bro, you know, you're not well, you're behind. You're behind. So unless you have multiple back to back to back to back five sacks games. Well, let's see. How many let's see how many times you hit Geno Smith? Let's see how many times you get to Geno Smith. All right, how about that? And then uh, what else do we have to worry about for this game, bro? I just feel like it's going to go south. Like, I'm not going to be surprised. I know that's kind of like a terrible way of speaking on it, but it's like, you got to show me something, bro. You got some These motherfuckers are driving me insane. I'm trying to talk good. Then you got to show me something. Got to show. Maybe, I don't know, maybe this might motivate their asses. Maybe they might motivate this. Or maybe they might, they might not just give a fuck. So let's see let's see how crazy DK Metcalf go or Tyler Lockett. Geno Smith, he about to play like, you know, it's a playoff game because it is the Giants. Uh, he doesn't like Giants fans, you know, oh, you did, I did my boy McAdoo wrong. Fuck you, Gino. Fuck you. To this day. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it, bro. I'm not going to go on rambling and shit, but this is something I think about every time the Giants go up against Geno Smith, or specifically the Seahawks. But just do something, bro. Like, I don't know. I can't explain to you how I think the Giants are going to win this game. Everybody got to play flawlessly at their position. Singletary got to have more than 25 yards. Daniel, I'm not even just Daniel. Daniel Jones, keep playing as you're playing or better. Don't get worse on us now. Don't get worse on us. Malik Neighbors, just be yourself. I don't even give a fuck if you have a bad game. Because you've already done so much already. It's like the, like everybody else is, is, is not doing what they're supposed to do, I guess. How about this? The goal of this game, get into the end zone twice. How about that? You're not going to fucking win without, bro, how about that? I say we're the New York football Giants. Here's a freebie. If you play fantasy, well, do they use kickers on the fantasy? Take the Giants fucking kicker. Maybe they don't. Or, if, or pick the, the Seahawks defense. Pick the Seahawks defense. I'm pretty sure the Giants not going to run it up on them. Uh, oh, only in my dreams. Only in my freaking dreams, bro. So let's, let's see how this one goes. Let's see how this one goes. And let's see how, how much... Will the Giants get embarrassed? Will they get embarrassed by a lot? Or will they lose by a little bit only by kicking field goals? It's going to be some shit, bro. Please, shut me up. Shut me up and, and do something crazy. Do something crazy where it's like, amaze me. People, go, bro, watch. The Giants have a, a hell of a game. Watch, everybody going to get piss tested. Oh, Kayvon had three sacks. Daniel Jones had two rushing touchdowns. Freaking Malik Neighbors had a touchdown. Wondell Robinson, they're going to piss test everybody. That's how, that's how bad the Giants are. If the Giants go out there and have a phenomenal game and everybody's on their P's and Q's, they start piss testing everybody. Like, this can't be. We're going to see what happens. Like, subscribe, to share. Like, subscribe, and share. Till next time. Jersey.